This right here is my AI toolkit. It's myaikit.org, and this is a personal project I've been creating for the AI space, something that is absolutely free and open source. So let's take a look at this here and show you how you can use this, because right now uh, I have these seven tools all basically bookmarked inside my toolkit, so I have access to all of them in one place. So this right here is myaikit.org. It's the all-in-one toolkit for AI management, your own collection of AI tools at your fingertips at no cost. So this is going to be updated daily and we're hoping to integrate over a hundred tools by the end of the month and that's only four or five days away. So one thing I just wanted to cover on the home page, we will always have the featured project on here, but any content creators or AI tool creators out there, if you want your content or tool to be on my kit, you would just click that submit now button. There's no fee for it, it's completely free. Matter of fact, everything on this website is completely free. So let's go up and click on the AI tools directory. Now you can on the top right use this Ask the Universe. This is a language model built in for this website where you can say what is the best graphic design tool, what is the best ad copy tool, and it will search through the website and all of the tools that we have including tutorials and reviews and spit that information back out at you. So here is the base page for the AI tools directory. Now all of this still pretty much is in beta. We're doing a very soft launch right Right now but it is all functional on desktop and mobile you'll notice two buttons one of which is very self-explanatory it is the read more this right here will just take you into an explanation of what each AI is so you can click on read more and learn more about each AI if the little short description here sounds interesting now the other button is add toolkit so now that I'm signed in I'm actually gonna click add to toolkit so you can see the function of this when I say add to toolkit, it says added. Now we're gonna go up to the top here and click on my profile, and we're gonna go to my favorites, and this is where my toolkit is housed. You can see now Deep Brain AI is on there. So this is the one page that I would bookmark. I would bookmark the favorites page inside of Chrome. That way I only have to go to this one page to be able to quickly access all of my tools. Right from this terminal here, I can go into Runway, I can go into my Mid Journey, I can go into 10Web or CodeSquire, or any of these tools that I've added from the directory into my own personal toolkit inside of my profile. Now this isn't public, this is private, so you can use all of your tools and it won't interfere with what anyone else is doing inside of their toolkit. Now we also have this section over here. You can see inside of the profile there's a My Tutorials section, and this is for the tutorials that you have saved, so you can quickly go back and reference them. Now you can see right here, uh, as this loads, that the only one I have in here is the Mid Journey Tutorial, just testing it out to save it. But if we actually go up to the Tutorials and Blog section on the top of the page, you can see that we are starting to load in all of these different tutorials, and you would just click this little heart icon and that would save it to your profile so you can quickly reference any of the tutorials you need and you don't even need to leave your toolkit essentially so you don't need to have YouTube open while having your tool open on another thing or another page it's basically just all in one you can learn what the tool is how to use the tool and you can get a quick bookmarked link to your tool as well now we are going to be building out a discord channel which hopefully i'm going to have our own language model or our own image generation built into that discord server um, that may be a couple weeks to a month out as building out that image generator is um it's very very difficult for someone who is not an expert at coding uh, and then the other thing we have here is the AI news so every single day this will automatically update with the top AI news articles so you can see uh, Microsoft and artificial intelligence saving the market uh, Palantir's artificial intelligence platform so every single day this section is going to update and as I said we're still in beta you can see these little clip art uh, icons or favicons 
are, are just not showing up right now, but it is functioning in beta and will update you every single day on a bunch of different AI news. So to get started, you just go to myaikit.org and you can click on the top right where it says create my kit and you can begin creating your all-in-one AI bookmarked toolkit. Now, if you break anything on here, please let me know. Like I said, this is still in kind of a soft launch beta and it will be updated every single day. Um, we're trying to add 10 plus new tools to this every single day. And uh, along with that, we're also gonna be building out a filters. So you can easily filter this. But for now, we have the um, Ask the Universe language model up there, which if you're wanting something like uh, graphic design or ad copy, you can simply search and filter through the entire website up there. But let me know what you think. Let me know what features you would like to see added and uh, we will get to